Let me tell you a story, a, a not so fun story that happened for me. If you get my newsletter, I did talk to you about saying that Charlie had contracted COVID and that was at the end of May. And of course, the month of May, if you follow my work, you know that it was an incredibly dramatic month. So it kind of seemed fitting, right, for something that dramatic to happen. But unfortunately, days later, I also got it. So I don't know if you've had it or not, for those of you who don't, or if it happens to come again, vitamin C, I believe, was a lifesaver for me. I did a ton of oranges. Like when I got sick, that's all I could think was take the oranges, vitamin C. And I did. I had like little oranges, like four a day, just loaded up on that vitamin C. And then I did a Z pack. And also I swear by just for the cough, it was, um, is it called Mucinex? Or is that, am I messing it up? That ain't it because my sister laughed. What is it? No, it is Mucinex, isn't it? It's the cough drop. Yes. Or cough. yes. Yeah. And it saved me. I mean, I'm not kidding. So now after being sick with it for like 12 days and now it's out of my body, for me, I unfortunately did get some fluid in my ears. So I can't hear as well. I also lost my sense of taste and smell. So it's been bizarre. Like Chanel is my favorite perfume. I spray it every day, still can't smell it. However, Charlie wears Old Spice and I finally could smell that last night. So I saw that as a good sign. But anyway, I don't wish it on anybody. I hope you all stay really healthy. And when you're out there, just pay attention, right? Because this particular strain, for whatever reason, it's incredibly contagious. We spent two solid years never getting it and then boom, Charlie brought it into the house and I do have a crush on that boy. So I was susceptible anyway, uh, giving you that heads up, hoping that helps some of you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the energy that we're going through right now, like the summer, the July, August, just what kind of summer is this going to be for us? But before I do that, I want to share a beautiful story from my sister, Vanessa. But Vanessa's not just my sister. She also runs the office and many of you have talked to her. She helps you, you know, get signed up for sessions and she's just terrific and such an asset to the company, but also an asset to the world. And she's actually working on becoming a very powerful life coach. Um, if you're interested in that, that's something she does. But I want her to come on and tell a story that she manifested for herself because it's so beautiful. I'm going to bring her in. I just clicked on her. Let's add her to the stream. There she is. She's gorgeous. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> yes, yes. Scoot in so we can see you. Clearly a sister, right? So Vanessa, you got to tell us your story. It's And let me just say something funny. I knew she was going to relocate. That I knew. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, that poor little thing. She's going to have to rent a little someone's room at some house. You know, I just couldn't stand thinking what was going to happen. But here's her gorgeous story. Tell us what happened, Vanessa. Um, so I'm actually moving to Holland, Michigan. And... Um, I really had just gotten into the game of buying a house. I own a home currently um, in Colorado. Um, but, you know, for a lot of people, they've been put, they've been in a bidding war for months. You know, many of them have bid 20, 30, 40 times and still haven't gotten the house. Well, I am a firm believer that I everything is God's perfect timing. And so when I um, saw these homes, there was two of them I really wanted. Um, and I just went into it with, you know, if I get one, great. If I don't, um, it's okay. I'll be okay. God's got a better plan, a better house. So I asked the realtors if I could please write a letter to the two homeowners. And it was like, uh, you know, they're kind of against doing that nowadays. I go, that's okay. I'd still like to do it. So they said, um, uh, well, we'll ask. So they reached out to me uh, and they said, yeah, they said they both said they will take your letter. So the first house that I bid on, this was on a Monday morning, and um, the woman got $40,000 over her asking price. <laughs> wow. So good for her, right? And then the next house, um, the realtors called me and they said, uh, it's already going over the asking price. I said, that's okay. I said, I'm, this is my hard stop number. Um, that's all I'm giving. And if, it, if they don't want it, that's okay. And they're like, oh, really? I'm like, yes, absolutely. I'm not going to go into um, 
debt for our home. Um, I already had a plan B in place and I truly felt, you know, really firm in my, in my ground. Right. I was just like, that's okay. So an hour and a half later, they called to let me know that the couple left money on the table because they loved my letter so much. <laughs> and yes. they sold me their house for a lot less than the top bidder. And yes. so I will tell you what, what, my story really means is you've got to trust in, in the universe and in the system, because if you, even if you're saying, yeah, I trust it, I trust it. But in the back, you're like, not really kind of, sort of, I truly trust it that if I didn't get this, something better was so right around the corner for me. Well, and, um, but the house also looks exactly like you, Vanessa. It looks like it was made for you. And I have to tell you something funny about Vanessa. Uh, no one is more of a neat Nick. She just keeps things perfect. Like, there's no proof she's even been in a room by the time she's done. But just listen. And so she had said, you know, in a couple of years, if you should mosey by, you're going to be so pleased with what it looks like. And I, and I laughed till I had tears because you couldn't say that. Like most people could not make that guarantee, but Vanessa could. So yeah, you know, and I a great story. I will say that even both of my girls will say all the time because they've heard me say that. I go, I wonder what day those people decided not to care about that house because we put so much, you know, time and energy in our heart and soul. And I just believe that if, you know, it, where your attention goes, right, energy flows. Well, my yeah. attention goes into um, being orderly and everything just really being beautiful. I love beautifying anything. I'm always looking a way to craft it and make it a little better. So yes. uh, every single thing I wanted, I wanted a three season porch. I wanted a home office. I wanted three bedrooms. I wanted a finished basement and I got everything I asked for. <laughs> so, so, so she's a great example guys of when we talk about affirmation and just affirming, she is definitely one of those. And of course she has great faith, which certainly kicks it up a notch. But when we talk about, you know, I personally believe in God, some people are like, it's about the universe. It's about source energy. But her conviction was so strong that they were willing to say, oh, gee, it's not even the highest bidder, but let's give it to her. So it's just such a great, powerful story when people are like, oh, nothing good happens for me, or I always have the worst luck. You're talking to the universe when you say that. And, you know, with Vanessa, it was more like, no, I have clear intention. It's going to happen. But again, just remember, as her sister, I thought, oh, that poor little thing's going to find a little room to rent. Just going to take her forever. Like, that's where my head was. And then she comes back with the most beautiful pictures I have ever seen of a new house. It, it was amazing. Like, goosebumps to say it was made for her. And clearly, the owners thought that. So thanks for sharing your story. Yeah, and if I, I want to just say a funny thing that I had done is um, I had called Glennis on Monday afternoon. And I said, guess what I did? And she goes, what? And I go, I bought a house today. And she goes, what? Yeah, I just could not or would not. I'm like, that's not possible. <laughs> and of course, it was really great because that is definitely my personality. I was very quiet until it all actually happened. Oh, yeah. No, she said yeah. nothing. And then sends me pictures where I'm like, what are you telling me? I mean, it's it's just, again, for those who follow my work, you know I'm the one who always says to you, you can make it happen. Just keep your focus and believe. And here's Vanessa making it happen with a home, no less. So and I, and, I, and, I, and I, I can say one other thing in regard to what Glennis is saying. The universe, whether it's the universe, the spirit, God, whatever it is for you, no matter what that bigger is to you, it, it, you know, that's your thing. Just like God is my jam. Um, the universe takes us very literally. Yeah. Very literally. So when you say I'm terrible at tech, yes, you are. <laughs> so your words matter. Listen to what you're saying. Listen to what's coming out of your mouth. So even changing that I'm terrible at tech to, you know what, I'm not great, but I'm getting better. You know, by in yeah. six months, really yeah. good yeah. Yeah. Or right before you put yourself down to shift it to, and I'm, I'm getting shift really it. good now. Shift I'm changing it. it. I've For made sure. it my mind. Yeah. So, so I, like I said, I did it with a very casual demeanor. Of, no, I'm, I, if this house isn't mine, something better is. And I meant it with every fiber of my being. So, well, thank you, Benny. And we're going to shoot in the you are <laughs> very fun. You're so cute. All right. So there, 
there that one i love it did i pop us both out i wonder can you guys see me because it's acting like you can't but i think even when it does this with the camera you actually can see me right vanessa can you say yes are you able to see me on this camera guys i see kim duff and sandy and keith i popped benny out but right now i don't see my image can someone say ah thank you lorraine for saying you can see me let me continue so what is going on with this summer? I just want you to consider you're in the month of June. I already shared that there's some really good dates in this month, but there are some challenging dates as well. And I'm sure you felt it like that little tug of war. I'm going to give you a very funny example for what happened yesterday. So yesterday was 620, 2022. So the actual days are two, the month and day reduced to eight, and then the whole date was a five. Whenever I see the two five energy, I am like, okay, there's that's duality. There's something going on. Tug of war. It's like saying, oh, I want love. And the five's like, get away from me. But it can promote some unnecessary drama. So what was funny is I stepped out of the house and I had this clear intention to go to this specific place. I heard about that had amazing food. It was literally called My Vegan Restaurant. So anyway, I go, my GPS is messing with me. It's giving me the wrong direction. It's like, hey, make a U-turn. Then I make one, hey, make another. I'm like, what are you doing? So anyway, long story short, I get there at 305 and they're like, oh, we take a break at three. So they have nothing for me, right? That means I'm five minutes late, ha, 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 when I had spent like 30 minutes circling that street. <laughs> so that happened. Then I thought, whatever, I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I went to another place that I normally go to. No, nope, they were closed at two o'clock. So that's what I mean about duality. That's what I mean when an energy challenges you. It just means it's not flowing with you. And example, when I created the calendars, the numerology calendar, even if you say, hey, Glennis, it was a sunny day symbol, but I had some frustration. It's not like that. It's like I had surgery and it was a perfect day for me to have it. And I recovered quickly. That's what it is. It's that kind of saying that if they had to put me under, right, that it's going to go smoothly. It's going to go well for me. That's what I can promise. But I can't change the craziness of the world like Mercury in retrograde. You know, there are things that come up cosmically that we have to deal with. But it's really, uh, it's like gratifying. Even if the day goes wrong, you laugh and say, oh, it's a caution day for me. It makes sense. All right. So just giving you a tip about july because july is the month of seven and the world number six just remember seven six that energy it's not in alignment so it means you're gonna have bit, perhaps a tug of war with yourself you know on the one hand six sure it promotes being with family or connecting but the seven is be alone if you can take a trip take a trip get near that water right get near nature's beauty look at that full moon take it in just appreciate simple stuff and gratitude. That's huge. You know, that's another thing Vanessa is so good at. Gratitude is her thing. You know, she always makes sure every day that she figures out stuff to be grateful for. That's huge. So going to the month of seven, it's like, hey, I'm going to work on my spiritual side. You know, I'm going to work on healing within. So that means self-help books are a good idea. Yoga, meditation, stuff that just has a calming effect on you. Keep that in mind. And then if you find yourself battling with people in that July going, you know, they don't agree with you and you just want to keep fighting, stop yourself. Just say, you know what? The energy of seven, six promotes confusion, feeling a little confused and not sure. So the more I spend time with me and working on the inside of who I am, the happier I'm going to be in that month of July. So keep that in mind. That's what I want you to do. A lot of you are popping through. Tanya's cute. She's like, I can see you perfectly. Yeah. It's really funny when you deal with electronics, what happens is like you guys could see me, but it goes black on my screen. And then I realized that doesn't necessarily mean they can't see me. Right. And now of course my face is back, but you saw me the whole time. And I'm grateful for that because the whole point of today is to help you do these quick reads. We did have a gal named Debis Morales, and we were going to let her in today. Like I wanted to have someone on camera. How about this idea? Um, here's an idea. Vanessa's here. You could go to glennis at numberslady.com 
and submit one of these questions. But here's the deal. You have to be computer savvy. Like you, you'd be given a link and then you'd be able to come in here and I could pop you up and you could ask the question. But that means your, your video has to work properly, your audio. If you're someone who's not good at that, there's no need to submit it. I will answer questions right here today on what you're submitting, all right? It's only for those who know, like they kind of live on their computer. They do the Zoom rooms all the time. Right now I'm doing um, StreamYard. So if you know StreamYard, that'd be great, all right? But again, uh, Glynis at numberslady.com, G-L-Y-N-I-S at numberslady.com. And I know some of you submitted questions as I asked you to in private message. Well, that's where we pulled Davis Morales, but we're not seeing her right now. I'm not sure why that line's ringing, but I always want to make sure it's not Vanessa. Wow. My sister, Juliana, that's another family member, has really, she's going through a tough time in her life, clearly, but I have never, ever heard from her so much as I have this month. And more importantly, whenever I'm doing something else. <laughs> so that's energy too. Be aware. All right. Okay. Uh, you know, gangster grandma, you just asked me, can I give a quick explanation on the master number 11? Can you do me a favor? Can you go to numberslady.com? Do you see I put it right here, the banner? Numberslady.com. Click where it says numbers. Scroll down where it talks about master numbers and then read all about it. All right. That would be great because I wrote a nice piece about the master number 11, 22, and 33. And I'd love you to read it and enjoy it. All right. Uh, when I keep it simple about master numbers, even uh, in my own chart, I have the master number 11. I always say you need to embrace the regular frequency as well, because when you look at Pythagoras' number system, the basic numbers were one through nine. And then you've got master number, which means it could be 11 slash two, 22 slash four, 33 slash six. And why do I always say you need to embrace the regular frequency? Because a master number means like what I'm doing right now, I am in my master number 11 energy, right? Because I'm helping many people. But when I'm at home and keeping it simple, I will embrace the number two. What does the two promote? Love, peace, harmony, relaxing. That's what I want to do. Okay. So that is my suggestion. All right. Someone said she's, I'm going to. Go ahead and pull this up. A lot of you came through what I need from you every time. Obviously, I'll see your name. Give me your full date of birth and that quick question. That's how this is going to work. All right. Let's see. I wonder what that means. I'm, I'm just scrolling through to see what's coming through the pike and see who I can help. Give me a moment here. All right. Let's go ahead and do this gal named Denise. So what does she say? She says, look, I'd like to find a partner to share my life with. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you say that because honestly, there's a lot of people I counsel and they're like, you know what? I give up. I had a bad relationship. I don't want to date anyone. And I'm like, you really believe you're on a planet with billions of people, but that you can't have good love, healthy love. Sure you can. And if you've had bad love again and again, yes, it's true. You need to break your pattern right? And love by the numbers. My book helps you do that, but also affirmations to attract healthy love. So Denise, first I'm going to just look at that date of birth. You were born 10, 16, 1953. Okay. That means you're born on a seven day. You have an eight attitude. And then your month and day, when I take the whole thing and reduce it to one digit, it's another eight. Well, Denise, let's be honest. You have very high standards, right? You're not going to be drawn to just anybody. And you're not going to, I'll tell you one of the deal breakers for you, for sure. If you met someone who was comfortable spending your money, like they had nothing to bring to the table financially, that would be incredibly upsetting for you because the eight, you do love quality and you don't mind working, but you want people who uh, do it as well. And then you're born on a seven day, which means you have that mystery. People think they know you. It doesn't mean they do, right? They have opinions on who you are. That doesn't mean they're right. And since you do have double eight, that also means you hit your head before you learn. You know, you've got that stubborn streak saying it's got to be my decision. So the partner that you would pick would have to understand that about you. What number comes to my mind automatically for you is the number two. Why? Because the two, first of all, the energy understands the seven and the eight so that that person would understand 
a little bit of that duality of who you are, but also being intuitive enough to, to love you and want to work with you and say, look, you know, we're in this together. We're partners. So I like that. The number four is also energy that gets along with seven and eight, but you got to make sure that that four has a real sense of who they are. Like, are they working hard? It's not uncommon for fours to be in like the world of architecture or engineers, some sort of builder or teacher. But if they're using their mind and they're smart, you would be drawn to that. So you need to start doing affirmations. That's what I would say. I had my mom pull a couple out today. Doesn't look like it's anything on love. Well, wait a sec. This one I like anyway. This could be, this could be for love relationships, but also for healing. Like if you're, how are you feeling? Like I want you guys put notes in there, please. I want you to post. How do you feel right now? How is your health? Because I believe since we've been through so much with the pandemic, it has taken its toll. I mean, I can see that. When I go out there and look at people, I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, it has messed with people's health. A lot of people just kind of gave up. They're like, you know, I don't want to even try. I don't really see people. So we got to get back in the game, you know, and saying, you know, I'm still alive and I have a lot to offer because as frustrating as this is, what we've been through COVID and then the way it keeps kind of reinventing itself, we're still going to get out of it. I still see us getting out of it. And I see us finding our way back to bonding with each other and having you know, big events to connect. Like I personally want to do a live numerology workshop. I want to do it this summer. Like it's not going to be a huge group, but I, I have this vision of exactly where I want it to be. It's here in California. It's going to be in Pasadena, California. So if you're interested in joining me with an on um, in-person, I'm so used to saying online, an in-person workshop, put it in the comments. Say, yeah, I would love to do that. It's going to be Pasadena. And I'm thinking either August or early September. All right. So here are some nice words this is again for healing the body, but also healing your heart. Ready? I am a, I am the calm expression of peace and love. I am a calm expression of peace and love and look for this in everyone else. Like I welcome this in everyone else because the way that works, that's for you attracting healthy love. Denise, you could do that. Like you could alter it into that. I am the calm expression of peace and love and look for this good in everybody, right? Look for it in everybody. But if you're having health issues, you can use that same beginning and say, I am the calm expression of peace and love and I am healed. I am a calm expression of peace and love and I am healed. I am the calm expression of peace and love and I am healed. Because that's what we need, right? We need that peace. We need love, not only in our relationships, but in our physical body. Okay. Now it looks like Vanessa has some gal. She's going to fix herself in that camera. I know. <laughs> Benny, did you give me any information on her? Like a date of birth? You want to type it in? I'll keep an eye. I'm scrolling all the way down. Maybe Vanessa did. She's pretty efficient as you all know by now. Okay. And this gal's name is Julie. So I'll be pulling Julie up in a moment. But again, going back to Denise, what cycle are you in? Okay, you're in a personal year cycle. Okay, so we take it eight with the six. You're in a personal year cycle of five. So I'm going to suggest something. Yes, you should be doing affirmations to help attract healthy love and also feeling good physically. But you need to know that cycle of five, it's more like falling in love with yourself, doing things that make you feel good, getting the massage, going on a trip, maybe just for the weekend at a beautiful hotel and just feel taken care of. That's what I'd love to see you do. But if you can take a trip, you could end up meeting some energy. I would push it towards the end of the year because next year you go into a cycle of six and the six always promotes the idea of love and a bond and a real relationship. So again, you can have it, but you got to have, I don't want to just say you already have high standards. I just want you to attract energy that's healing and good for you, right? A guy that has it, his act together. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull you up. You're in the game, girl. There you are. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm wonderful. I'm loving your backdrop. What's going on? That's pretty. Where are oh, you? Thank you. I am in Las Vegas. Oh, one of my favorite next to the woods. You know, I did stand-up comedy in Las Vegas for years. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So your question is, what is it? Let me pull Denise off of here. I'm going to hide uh, the current comment. Right. There you go. Go ahead, Julie. What's your date of birth? 11, 19, 1976. Okay. And what is your question? So my question is, I'm looking to expand into writing books and speaking engagements. And I want to know if that is something that's a good venture. In other words, you want to know, is this really something you could do, right? And would it be fulfilling? Yeah. yeah. So the, answer, the answer is yes. Yeah. Aren't you lucky? Here's why. First of all, you're overthinking the whole thing. you got to stop it. You know, you've got that darn eight life path. It's like, oh God, do I look stupid? Uh-oh, do I make sense? Like they just worry too much. So my answer to that is one, you just have to be really prepared. Like when you speak, know your stuff so well that it's easy to just ad lib, you know, that you can be spontaneous, talk to people in your audience and then go back to your big message. That's number one. Number two, because you're born on a one day, that's the part that pushes you forward. But it also is the number that makes you feel like you're running out of time. Do you end up feeling that way? All the time. Okay, so you got to stop doing that. So how do you stop doing that? With the one, it's like get outside. Uh, it's all about physical activity for you. Like when you move your body, when you get an endorphin release, that's when you're happiest. How true has that been for you? Huge. Right? Yes, and then you have a free attitude. So that is ultimately, that attitude number is going to go far in this goal that you have because the three means I'm called to uplift and motivate other people. So when you think you make people's lives better, you feel happy. It makes yes. you feel fulfilled. So yes. tell me what it is that you want to do. What will it be? Like, give me an example. So I do speaking engagements on abuse. Oh, yeah. And negative into positivity. I've done legislative assistance and giving workshops and things like that. And my my goal is to kind of bring it into a larger platform to really help people understand and share my story and experiences to help others. All right. So going back to abuse, are we talking kids being abused or adults? What is it? Like, what is it? Um. Yes, in general, just how abuse affects family systems and the Absolutely. process of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and, and then the dog, that's your dog in the background, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, that means you're one of those mothers who spoiled their children. Here's the, I promise you, my dog's not saying a word right now, knowing that I wouldn't put up with that nonsense. So now I have to know the dog's name. What's the dog's first name? We'll see what the energy is. Uh, uh, there's actually two. One is Snow and one is Noodle. Who's the bigger barker, though, of those two? Snow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I, I'm definitely hearing one energy more than the other. Hold on. Oh, how funny. Okay. Here's the deal. Confirming this. Snow. Let me confirm this. Hold on. Six. Yep. Yep. Does Snow like things just a certain way? Like, is yep. Snow opinionated? Like, it, well, I don't know what he sleeps, you know, where he sleeps. Or is it a she? He or she? She. Okay. She loves quality. So she's got attitude. And right yep. now, because you've been taken away by me, that's where the yipping's coming in, too. <laughs> and here's what's so funny. Six, two, eight. Those are the numbers. So it's a natural match to you. But it means love. And it's about family. Like, that. Snow likes to control the situation. Yes, she's definitely the mother hen. She runs the kids. She tells them when it's it's almost if she could verbalize, she'd tell them it's time to go to bed. Yes. It's time. We're done here. We're done playing. It's yes. time to, to move on to the next. Yes, she's very. Yeah. So look what you did. And then I've got to confirm. Did you pull this with Noodle? Give me a second. Noodle. We got three. That's an eight. Wow. Okay. These are not just your pets. Don't they cost money? Like, <laughs> like you end up spending money on these two, yes? Sure. Yeah. I mean, listen, I deal with animals all the time. I've got the dog. I got the cats. But these got, these are hotsy totsy animals. Like, they've got to be beautiful, attractive. I mean, just like I said about you, you're self-critical. So are they. So you have to make them amazing. So you know what you've done? If the number eight, when we trace the number eight, we go round and round, it can make us feel crazy. There are times you feel crazy with those two. Yep. That's where they're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember you're the boss. But going back to your vision of what you want to do, I love it. 
and listen, if it wasn't like the right thing, I'd be the first to tell you, but you have a story and I'm assuming it goes back to you originally, you know, you, you have empathy and you understand what people go through, but you're still here to say, no matter what you've been through, you deserve to have a great life. And I want to okay. help you have that great life. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. Thank you so much. I love you. I have all your books and your, your calendars Yay. and all of that stuff. Thank well, you so much. Well, maybe you could come to California when I do an in-person workshop because it's going to be great. I would love We're that. We're going to be doing that in the summer. All right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. It was meant to be, Julie. Take care. Really powerful. That's really great. Okay. So we got... Um, Obviously, you just saw. Now, that's kind of a giving you a sense of what I do. I mean, I love to see you. You need to know, like the back and forth with her. But notice how the dog got involved. And then we start looking. What else is going on with you by the numbers? And here she's got the energy of the eight energy all around her, which is very funny. But the bottom line, you know, we don't, that, that seed that's planted inside us, when we have a dream, it's never an accident. You know, you're, you're given that for a reason, but then you have to find ways to make it happen. And she has so much light, you know, having that three and the one, the one is for the ambition. The eight is, I don't mind working hard, but I need to make sure I'm financially stable, right? That I have compensation. And then the three attitude means to me that she'd end up being very generous. Like, and she, she gets ahead. She wants to share it with everybody. So thank you for that. Vanessa made that happen. Let's applaud Vanessa. Why don't we just pop her back in? You're coming in, Benny. Vanessa. <laughs> Good job. So, so uh, Jules, um, Julie, she was really the only one who was bold enough to say, yeah, sign me up. Get me out here right now. <laughs> Isn't that great? And also yeah. that it coincided with our sister, Juliana, Jules. Calling. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So who kept calling psychically, right? I Vanessa literally touched her. I said, Glennis is live. Stop calling. <laughs> Right. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah. Okay. And so what I would say, like for everyone listening today, because I'm going to continue doing some fast food reads, but I do want them to know our goal is to let them pop in like we just did. Yeah. And remember, you just have to be computer savvy enough, just like Julie, to be able to get on that video and have your audio and video working. And I will read you, do some of these for you. How fun is this? Right. Yeah. Thanks, Benny. I appreciate it. That's her darling nickname. She's so cute. Okay. Ready? I'm just going to be spontaneous here. I'm grabbing somebody. Here we go. Boom. Christina, I have been struggling alone for 14 years. No job for six months in a new city, San Francisco, for about a year. I have moved around and I'm trying to find the right home for a writer. Okay, so here we have a writer. She's born 921, 1972. So that means she's born on a three day, right? Because two plus one is three. We take her month and day, 921. When I reduce that, it's another three. And then her life path, when I take the full book date of birth, 921, 1972, it's the number four. So let's see, 19, 20, 22. Yeah, it's a 31 four. So, you know, when we talk about master number, and like I said, you're welcome to go to numberslady.com to read about master numbers under the numbers in my menu. But going to her, I'm going to click her out because I just did it and it's um, taking up the whole picture. I should get, grab that name though. It's Christina. So Christina, moving, you are in a cycle of nine right now. So nine does represent clearing space for new beginnings. So it is possible that moving might be a part of your story. I would say in my book, Linus has your number. I have a thing called location because I will not be breaking down locations on this show because we don't have that kind of time. But it would tell you what's best for you, right? You know, when you move to an area, if you move to a city and it's not compatible, it makes you feel very challenged and frustrated. On terms of just being a storyteller, you have the ability. Now, here's what's interesting. The three in you, it's spontaneous. It communicates. So that's the part of you that has the humor. Behind it is the number four. And that four says, if I can't do it perfectly, I don't want to do it. So you're, you may be being overly critical of yourself as a writer. So I'm not sure what you've picked for writing, but I promise you just take an hour a day, you know, just go in your bedroom, wherever you've set it up and start writing, tell your story. And the other one, since threes are more communicators, you can literally 
audio tape it, right? Like, I mean, Dragon is a software online, but you can just start talking. And next thing you know, you've got your book and it's done. So that might be another idea to just kind of speed up this process. And then cycle-wise, when I said cycle of nine, again, please pick areas that are compatible to you. If where you're living now is not, then you should move but you can't keep moving. You know, I don't want you to do that. I really want you to find as a four, fours love to have a solid place to live, you know, where they feel content, when they feel happy, but don't let it stop you from writing because the writer in you is right now. Okay. Thank you for that question. Oh, I, I got to pop Vanessa in real quick. Vanessa, are you ready? Just need you to know about Gwen McCants, you know, our mother. Well, Mother's here two days a week and mother's here now. Do you know, Vanessa, she thinks that that kitchen next to me, I can't hear a thing. I hear the water. She hits things. She made something. She doesn't stop. And I'm letting the world know because that's my mother. Do you want to poke your head over? No, there is no, <laughs> you found out water? Really? Interesting. You're, you got, oh, I have you on mute, Banny. I thought for sure it was just your dog making himself a snack. <laughs> wait, wait, you thought who did it? Your dog. You're not kidding. <laughs> I mean, if the dog could. Do you love it? I've, got, I've mastered keeping Coco right. and the right. cat, but not mom. Just want you to know <laughs> it's a family affair, Vanessa. Right. And you can you, like um, by the way, you may have someone that's in the waiting room. Really? I don't see them yet. Just letting okay. you know. Yeah, okay. but once I do, I'll definitely acknowledge Time. it. Thank you. Oops, sorry. All right, we're going to pop over here. Kevin, I'm going to put Kevin in because I know that name. I'm wondering, he must have done workshops with me or something. Or Keith. Keith, I love that I called you Kevin, even though I knew it was Keith Fletcher. There's video. Stay away from me, Gwendolyn. Born on a three-day. I'm serious. Okay, we got double three. So what is it you're asking? Okay. Wanted to say thank you. Oh, good. Good, good, good news. See, I knew we had talked. You said I started to practice my cards and I'm going to work on my spiritual side. Yay. Now this is really good news because Keith, he is born on a three day. His life path is a three and then he's got a non-attitude. This points to all that wonderful creative energy, but also wanting to help others. It's like, he doesn't, you know, he knows that he has a gift. And he's been able to help people in his life, but now he's going to kick it up a notch. So congratulations, Keith. I'm really glad to hear it. Really. This is good news. All right. We're popping through here. I'm going to go up because a lot of people came through. Some gal. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Lorraine. Let's see. We can try for this one. For, uh, Veronica, I have to laugh at this. <laughs> It's time back to Vanessa, but it really is her little, you know, fake name when she doesn't want to be Vanessa. She's Veronica. All right. Excited. Just thankful to be here. And I'm going to look just because she said that. And thank you, Veronica, for saying that you're happy to be here. So you're born on a seven day. You have a four attitude and you're a six life path. Now that Veronica, you have permission in this month of July, since the month of July is a seven and the world numbers are six. And then you're born on a seven day and you're a six life path. Please shoot us an email at glennis at numberslady.com and let me know how you navigate that. Like, I wonder because you've got seven, six and it's seven, six, it might feel perfect for you. Like the world just might make sense for a change. And I would love to get your feedback on that. Okay. But in the meantime, you're in a personal year of one. And one is your time to do what you want. You know, it's your time to, to say, look, I got a brand new cycle here. Anything that happened in the last nine years, it's gone. It's done and buried. Now I have a chance to do what I want. And I'm going to get on with my life. And now you have to decide what is it you really want to do. Write it down. Make your plan. This is your time to declare this, this is about me. You know, if it was about everyone else, you've probably done a lot for families that you're a six. No. Let that all go. It's about you. You know, how are you feeling physically, mentally, spiritually? Work on that and you'll be so glad you did. Okay, but you're going to let us know. You're our little science project. Let me know about this month of July and how you experience it in this year, 2022. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
scrolling down. Give me a moment here. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I see a gal named Elaine Devin says, I'm a 7-6 also. So, Elaine, you certainly have my permission to reach out as well. See, here she is. I just put her note up. She's got the 7-6. Anytime you have that, if you have duality in your birth date numbers, and then you come up against the month and year that's in alignment with that, in my opinion, that's going to give you some energy that you don't normally have. Yeah. All right. Now, it does look like uh, somebody came through the pike, but I think they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Give me a moment here. Hmm. Let's let's click on this one. And Deb, still looking for Mr. Wright at 50. What's your insight? Well, first of all, Anne, there's no way you uh, look your age or act your age because there's a little kid in you. That's just a fact. And you, whenever someone says they have not found great love and they're like 50, I look for the number five. That's right where I go. Okay. So keep that in mind. When I add the actual day you're born, two plus nine is 11 slash two. It's a two. We take the month and day, one plus two plus two, add it up, reduce it to one digit. It's a five. And then you were born in 1971, which means when I add it again, 1229, 1971 adds up to another five. So do you see, Anne? That's good. Because what that tells me is had you gotten married early on, you could be divorced easily. Like you would not have put up with it. And I'm sure you've had love relationships because of that two in you. But if it wasn't good, the five said, get me out of here. I don't want to do this. So yes, it's possible for you to find that partner that you really want, but you have to be proactive. You know, uh, my wonderful mother-in-law, when she got remarried, she was 81, 81. And she was with her guy and then they, she passed away two years ago. But the point is they were together for like 15 years. I mean, it was something really special. They would travel all the time. They did the cruise ships. They went all over the place. They went to Scotland. They did these beautiful things because she was a five and she loved having a partner to enjoy it with. And boy, did he, his name was Frank. And he just got the biggest kick out of her personality. But she was single for years and years and years after her divorce with Charlie's dad. So yes, it is possible. And just know I'm rooting for you. And what if you want to be proactive, love affirmations, go to numbersity.com, look it up and type in the promo code love numbers, treat it as one word, love numbers, and get a discount and start doing them daily. I have well over, we're almost at, I know we're over 6,000 people that have found a partner and gotten married because of my work. I know that for a fact, because they send us proof, like an email, tell me about it, picking a wedding date, just these wonderful things. So you're not alone, but again, you have, you're unique. The two five, it doesn't mean everyone's going to understand you. You need someone who gets that, gets your energy, but it is absolutely possible. Okay. All right. Um, Tanya, I see you, but are I don't know what you're doing. I'm pulling you up. So you don't want to be laying down. You got to come up. We're, we're all up, girl. Hi. I was waiting. I was waiting. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're the girl. So go ahead. What is your date of birth? Uh, May 10th, 76. Okay. And what is your question? Um, uh, Like, will I excel at in my career path, like, because, um, I've been getting over an injury and I'm a lot better, but, uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of set me back a little bit. So I just want to make sure that I can go back full force and maybe even better than before. Okay. So tell me, what, uh, there's something that I missed in what you said. Did you, did you end up getting sick? Is that what you said? Uh, I've not said I had a small injury and I, I've been getting over okay. it and I've, I'm feeling a lot better. Okay. okay. Here's what and I'm by the way, I'm you. traveling right now. So the reception is a little bad. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. But I'll tell you what I see. Um, first of all, you're incredibly sensitive. You know, you've got the ultimately two energy, which means you don't just pick up your own problems. You can take on others. You notice that? Like you could walk into a room and you feel the energy and you're like, get me out of here. Right? Like you, it's 100%, like, this is 100%. Not good. <laughs> yeah, you pick it up so yeah. quick. You're like, this is not comfortable. Or And you meet somebody like, I really am enjoying this person. But then you meet someone else, you're like, wow, that person just took everything out of me. Now I feel drained. Right. So I say the um, what you went through, 
you're going to overcome it because the last couple of years were really hard on the number two. And 2022 is trying to give you strength again. That's why all those twos are in there, but it's ultimately a six, which is strong. So yeah, this is a much better time for you. And But now it's about your boundaries. You cannot let anything affect you. Like pick and choose wisely who you spend your time with, Tanya, more than ever. Okay. The other thing about you, you're in a personal year of three, which means when you get excited, it's contagious. Like if you do an <laughs> interview and you like the idea of the job, you're going to make them get that you want it and that you're sincere. What I know about your chart is you're an incredibly hard worker. You do not come up short. Like if you think you did something wrong, you're really self-critical. So, <laughs> right? So I'm telling Spot you. on. Yeah. Start affirming. Like I'll just give you a simple one because I, I loved it. It was from Louise Hay when she did You Can Heal Your Life because it was simple. And she simply said, I pay my bills with ease and I always have extra money. Do that. I pay my bills with ease. <laughs> And I always have extra money. 15 minutes a day. You chant that sucker again and again. And what you're saying is not only will I land a job, but it's going to be even better, like compensation, but also to be valued. You know, you, like I said, you give too much already, but when someone's too critical, that gets inside your body, Tanya. And I don't want yeah. you doing that anymore. I want you to stay healthy, you know, because you have a lot okay. to offer. What is your goal? Like, what would you do if you could? Anything you would well, want to do, what would you think? Okay. Um, and I don't know if my reception is bad, but um, I'm in the arts and I love to dance and I love to sing and all those things. And, and also I, I do the outdoor, I do outdoors work. I work as an adventure guide with kids and so anything like outdoors and also artistic, you know, okay. musical dance. So I would say this, what, where is that in your chart? Like, here's what's nice about your chart. And I need you to make a note of this. So do you have a pen or paper or you can always go come back to this, but this is important. Okay. <laughs> you have one, there are three numbers in our birth date numbers and you have right. one number coming from each pack. So here's my point. You have a six attitude. The numbers three, six, nine are creative. And by the way, you're a natural mother, meaning you mother those kids. Like you're, you're a nurturer <laughs> and it should be true for your friendships too. You just have that, but it's coming from the six. It's also creative. Huh. And then the other pack, one, five, seven, are the mind numbers. They never stop thinking. Well, you were born on a one right. day. So that's true for you. And then finally, your life path. Two, four, eight are business minded. So they don't mind working hard, but they need to make sure they're handled financially. Like you, you do stress if you feel like you cannot take care of bills. That's the number two. So the fact that you have all three tells me if you can embrace the positive side of each energy, there's nothing you mm -hmm. cannot do. And as for singing, do you ever get a hoarse voice? Do you ever lose your voice? Have you ever? I've never lost my voice, but sometimes it gets a little like, rough. Yeah, like where it didn't sound like you, it wasn't as strong. When does that happen? Right, when was yes, it? yes. Okay, so I'm telling you, because obviously you hear my voice, right? And I did just have COVID, yeah. but my voice sounds great. However, yeah. it was attacked for sure. Swallowed anger and not feeling heard by the people in your life can mess with your voice. And because you're a right. singer, you need your voice, right? So yeah. the affirmation, what's that one where we say, um, I release all negative thoughts and look for the good release in everyone. So that's it. I okay. release all negative thoughts and look for the good in everyone. So that means, because remember I said you're really sensitive. So your mind goes yes. to judgment. I mean, you've got this strong mind. It's automatically, I like you. I don't like you. Oh, this is a great place. <laughs> oh, this place sucks. I got to go. But if you start affirming <laughs> that, you're, you're going to attract better energy. You And that's what I want. Like, that's all I can see for you. This is a great year to get the job. It's a great year to get work in your creativity, but you want to attract good people. You don't just want the right. job. You want to love this job. Okay? Right. You Everything you said is spot on. Like, perfect like, i mean like it's like it's like you got inside my head somehow <laughs> but, and guess what i do <laughs> i mean that's the thing about numbers they they come to life for me and so when i look that's why i love seeing your face tanya because it's like okay how do we help her just get where she wants to go so i right. release all negative thoughts and look for the good or i think in your case you should say and see the good 
You don't ever have to look. Right. I see the good in everyone. Because right. the thing about you, again, when I talk about certain people that are natural givers, you're one of those. Like if someone gives you, you right. want to give right back. You know, if you're a head financially, you'd want to help someone else. But I want you to get back to just the basic of saying, if I can express myself in this lifetime, I know I can make a difference. And children, right. I mean, if you've read a book, a children's book, teaching them how to be great kids, I could see you doing that too. You children <laughs> love you. Like they're your little buddies. You can see you. They're like little, I can't explain it. It's like when you meet an adult, you can see the child and the adult. So when you see yes. a little kid, you can see the adult, right? Yes, you know, absolutely. You, know, exactly. you can see what they can become. So you have that. Always. Gift. I always win. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Thank you for popping thank you through. So I appreciate it. You're welcome. I appreciate thank it too. Care. You too. Yeah. Bye. Okay. So good job. We're going to pull Vanessa back in. She's the one making the magic happen. She was adorable, Vanessa. Yes, she really yeah. was. And you could tell that she was just, even in her texting back and forth with me, she was so excited. Um, I do want to say that the trend I'm noticing on questions is calendars, calendars, calendars. So there's a lot of people asking best days for surgery. Um, are your okay. calendars still available? So please, okay. um, yeah. All right. So let me tell you about that. Thank you, Benny. I'll pop uh -huh. her through. Here's what I would tell you. When we talk about dates, like if you have to get surgery or maybe you want a wedding date, or maybe you're thinking of proposing, or maybe you want to launch a company, anything like that. I created nine different calendars because remember I said the basic number one through nine. And if you're a master number, then it's 11 slash two, which would be the two life path, 22 slash four, 33 slash six, you get that calendar, but here's how it works. It's a date of birth that determines the best one. I get letters every day, like emails. And as does Vanessa, because she helps me process, we get the most beautiful stories of, oh my gosh, the doctor said it was going to take six weeks to heal, but it didn't. It was a perfect day. I picked my sunny day symbol and it was great. The surgery went beautifully and I, I feel good after two weeks. That's what it's about. Or also picking dates to launch a company, having great success. So if there's some date you want to know is good or bad, we are, we have um, the hard copy version of the calendar on a, a discount. You just have to type newsletter because it was set up for the newsletters. It's $5 off newsletter, just like it sounds for the hard copy version of the numerology calendar. But if you're in a rush, you could also go with the PDF, which is something that's emailed to you. And that's also available at numberslady.com. But it, you know, it's, it's my formula. You know, Pythagoras created the system, but after doing over what, 45,000 reads, I saw patterns and that's what I use when I do the formula for the calendar. Okay. So yeah, check that out. And I'm going to do just a couple more. Um, someone just asked about love by the numbers. So I'm going to answer it. Joe Sunderlich. Does love by the numbers work not for just people looking for love? Both my kids are three life paths. Yikes, I'm a two. You're so funny to say yikes. Technically, you're very compatible to a three, but yeah, I assume they're big communicators. No, of course. Listen, love by the numbers, it was helping you understand all people. That means you could understand your boss better. Like I literally have it in the book where I said, what turns you on? What turns you off? Right? I also talked about maturity number, which was not in Glennis Hesha number. So yeah, these are standalone books. If you don't have love by the numbers yet, get a copy. You can go to numbercity.com to see it, but also, you know, our Amazon, Barnes and Noble, wherever you want to go, get the ebook. You know, that it's not expensive, but boy, it's life-changing. So yeah, my answer to you is, Joe, it's great to understand what makes a person tick. It's like dissecting them. And yes, you're going to have some insights about them in love, but you're going to understand their personality. And like I said, my favorite chapter, what turns them on? What turns them off? As a parent, you certainly want to know that answer too, because you, you want to avoid conflict. You know, you do, you do. All right. Whoa, where am I? I'm looking, I'm still whipping through here. Um, hmm. I don't know what that means. Give me a second. Um, excuse me, my nose wants to itch, which tends to happen around here. Give me a second. Oh, let's see. Let's try this one. All right. This gal, Susan, you said, 
I'm reopening my restaurant very uncertain times, but I love what I do. Okay. So she was born, you know, Susan, you got to change your mindset when, when we think about what's happening out there, because you'll find people could be incredibly successful in the midst of a crisis, right? Like when things are nuts. And right now we are getting together more than we were doing. So I'm loving the whole restaurant idea for you. You were born 924, 1965, born on a six day, six life path, seven nines. You're a nine. Okay. So this is all creative. You know, you're a nurturer. You're in a perfect cycle to do this because you're born on a six day and you're a nine life path. Well, when you take what personal cycle you're in, you're in a cycle of three. That's like completion. Like it, it's all lining up creative energy, um, making sure people felt, you know what it is. Your restaurant's going to be like a house, you know, it's your home. There's that beautiful table and you're having this wonderful food. So I see it as a good thing. What you didn't tell me, Susan, and it matters is the address, like just the numbers on that restaurant. What I'm hoping is it's compatible to you. If it is not, you could always alter the energy, you know, by putting a different number on the door inside of the door. So You'll have to let us know what that is um, or just get going to set your number and it shows you how to do it. But good for you. I'm excited for you. You should be doing prosperity affirmations because you already have fear. You're afraid that you're going to make this happen and it will fail. I don't see that with your magical numbers right now with the universe lining up with you. This could be a phenomenal success. Okay. But we got to get your mind to believe that too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, see, I'm just going to pull this up because I find it interesting. Ready? This is Ken. He says, my son is schizophrenic. One, we don't have the date of birth and we don't have cans. But Ken, I want to say something about that. Yes, it's absolutely possible that he's schizophrenic, but I promise you, I look at patterns and numbers. Like when people talk about bipolar so often or ADHD, one, five, seven, those numbers are my numbers and they don't want to be controlled and they, you know, they can't sit still for long. That also can mess with us. And schizophrenic, when I talk about duality in a personality, sometimes when your numbers are completely turned against you, like, and I shouldn't say that, I should say the negative side of the number, when it turns against you, it can make you seem like you're two people. So I, I would be curious about that birth date to know, is there some duality there too, that helps explain what's going on with your son. And I'm, I'm sorry, uh, for the frustration, because I would think it would be hard uh, to try to fix that. But again, I don't know your birthday, Ken, but I wanted everyone to know today why those things matter. When we tell, say what someone is, I like to study those numbers too and see if it, the numbers are playing a role in it. All right, let's do this. Um, okay, I'm looking for a quick date of birth. Give me a moment here. Okay. Yeah. Let, you know, it's cute today. There's always patterns and numbers, right? Whenever I do a group of people. So one, five, seven's coming up a lot. A lot of people have that and they're seeing it. And you know what? I want you not just to enjoy this video. Absolutely. But sign up, subscribe to my channel because I do have some really good videos to teach you. Like I really go into the life path number, which you can read about. I cover intensity numbers. What, what does it even mean when you look at your name and what number pops up the most? I also cover Mercury in retrograde. And since Mercury does show up in retrograde like three or four times a year, it's a video worth listening to because it'll give you insight. So the next time it happens, you're ready. Okay. Let's, I'm clicking on this. I don't know what she said. Ha ha. She says, do you see me being selected for a higher position at work? be good at it. And when will it happen? So she was born on a five day. She's got a seven attitude and she's an eight life path. Denise, you know, first of all, eights are incredibly hard workers. Uh, so I would always say you have that to your advantage. Um, on terms of being promoted, I could only say this because you have a seven attitude. So that means sometimes you, you have that mystery. You don't want people knowing what you think or feel. I think you might want to make an effort to try to engage a little more like connect, um, but also bite your tongue because you're very direct. You're really honest and people can misinterpret. But I think if you literally turn on the charm at this job while you do your excellent work, of course you could be promoted. Absolutely. All right. And then seven, six, 
you're in a personal cycle of four, four is a time for educating yourself. So if there's anything you don't know about that job, do your work, you know, do some studying, educate yourself more so that you're ready. When that promotion happens, you're completely 150% prepared. All right, you guys, I got to go. It has been an hour. I actually said to my sister, I'd do 40 minutes, but I, I went longer because there's so many of you and I wanted you to know that is a pleasure doing your numbers. And like I said, the gals who pop through, Julie and Tanya, you will have opportunities to do that as well the next time we do an event. All right? Take good care. It's Glenda's McCants, the numbers lady, numberslady.com.